Late one night, I'm coming back from a tactical training course at the academy. The moon was bright as hell that night, I remember. I unlock my door, and then I hear this sound coming from the roof. They're Severide, repelling down from my <laughs> skylight, singing Sinatra's This Love of Mine with a rose in his mouth. He'd been mooning over me for weeks. Poor guy was so blinded by love, he didn't know what he was doing. So how much extra would you be willing to pay for a premium cube like that? Uh, quarter? 50 cents. Kid, glad I brought you on board. You did good. Thanks. You owe me one. Wait, I owe you? Mm, I figured you were just paying me back for pulling your ass out of that fire. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. I saved your life. Don't forget it. You are something. How so? Because you act like you don't give a damn, and then, and then you're the one who goes and yells at CFD Brass, or comes and helps the damsel in distress. Yeah, hey, well, you got me all figured out. I know. You're really doing this? I am. It doesn't change the way I feel about you. For us. In fact, it's the opposite. I, I, I don't want things to change. And that's why I think that this is Stella. I don't care where you live. Wherever you are, it's where I want to be. I don't want you to go somewhere else to be home anymore. Your station gear should always be here because you should always be here. Will you move in? I mean, what the hell? You got to live with who you love, right? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Good morning. Hey, you know how we had to keep quiet last night so we didn't wake up Casey? Left. Time to wake up the rest of the building. Oh, my sweet, beautiful, emotionally stunted man. Bowden said that I could use this boat whenever I want, since I don't maintain it. Maybe we could go out on the lake, do some fishing. How about you leave the fishing gear behind, because I got a new bikini and a cocktail thermos that will provide all the recreation. That's a much better plan. Damn it. Listen, I don't know boats, but maybe I could help with the stress part of all this. Just not something that I that I gained out before in my head. That's called self-doubt, which I know is foreign to you. This is your surprise date. I'm gonna teach you some scuba basics. You won't become an expert, but you won't have to say you've never done it before. You know who I've never doubted? Not once. You got this, Stella kid. You. You are a good man, Kelly said right. You look out for people. I am really going to miss seeing you at 51 every shift. As long as I get to come home to you, I'm OK wherever I go. I am without a doubt the luckiest girl in the world. What is the special occasion? You. And they said that you weren't romantic. Well. Hmm. Maybe I didn't have the right girl to be romantic with. <laughs>